Okay, it's James here from A1 Engine Tuning. We're back from Christmas and here we are with our Harrop H 2650 LSA style blower. As you can see, it looks the same as a standard 1900 on the LSA. It doesn't look any different. We ran out of time before Christmas with lack of belts and lack of pulleys because it was just making so much more boost than we expected it to. So this car's air intake exhaust, um, cam upgrade, obviously valve springs um, tune. On its factory LSA 1900 blower, it was making about 14.5 PSI, and the best we ever saw out of it was 462 rear wheel kilowatts, from recollection. Um, we put the 2650 on, it was making too much boost. We got it back to around 14. It was actually making a little bit less boost than, than the factory 1900. We had to turn it pretty slowly to get it down to that. Um, at 14 PSI, it was making 478 rear wheel kilowatts from recollection. We wanted to run a little bit more boost than that. So we increased it to 15.6, I think it's sitting out at the moment. I'm still turning it a lot slower than the factory 1900 supercharger, so the air is a lot cooler going into the motor. And just now it's made 509 rear wheel kilowatts. So 500 was our target. Um, so we're up 462. So we're up uh, 47 rear wheel kilowatts just by changing the blower and it's got an extra 1.1 PSI. So pretty impressed with that. But if you have a look at the um, dyno runs, something that isn't always the case with an LSA, it's very repeatable. So we've got four runs at the top, smallest one being 503.8 rear wheel kilowatts and the highest one 509.3. So there's four runs there, they were in two lots of two. Uh, because this blower runs a fair bit cooler than the normal one, uh, factory 1900, simply because it's turning slower to make the same boost, it effectively has cooler air going into the engine. Um, down the bottom, this car is an automatic and originally made 324 kilowatts standard. So you can see the difference in, in torque at the bottom and obviously power is fairly substantial for really not not a great deal of mods. We're still running standard heads, standard cranks, standard um, rods, standard pistons. So pretty impressive, very happy.